I set up a GoPro on top of DJI FPV drone. Last year, DJI has released their first FPV drone and like a lot of people I knew I was going to get a hold of it. It has obstacle avoidance, a big autonomy, ready to fly system, a good video quality in the goggles, and it's a very good FPV drone no matter what people say. The problem is that the camera is not the best to create cinematic content. The image quality and the stabilization is not the best. So before my trip to the Caribbean, I decided to fix this problem by mounting my GoPro Euro. 10 on the DJI FPV drone. This way I can benefit from all the pros of the DJI FPV drone and the GoPro at the same time. So best of both worlds. You can find several types of GoPro mounts on the internet. Some of them have four screws mount system. They look better to avoid vibrations, but I've checked their reviews. They don't seem to be easy to install. So I selected this mount, which you need to do is just unscrews the screws on the side, adjust the GoPro mount and screw them back. GoPro 10 stabilization on gyro flow. When you fly FPV drone, it's so most impossible to fly it perfectly. And along the way, some micro vibrations will appear. <laughs> I use the gyro flow software, it is free. It will use the GoPro embedded gyro data and this software will compensate abrupt movement. And the render will be much better than the one with your hyper smooth stabilization in your GoPro.
my GoPro settings. On the GoPro side, I would recommend you to capture your footage this way. 4K minimum, 4 by 3 aspect ratio, 60 FPS, just in case you need to make slow motion effect. The widest field of view, hyper smooth stabilization needs to be off. A high bitrate to get the best image quality. How do I set up the GoPro? on the mount. I switch on my remote controller goggles and quad, press the M button, tilt the camera up or down to 30 degrees, then I adjust my GoPro at the same angle. So what are the pros to this setup? The field of view is larger, there is a better dynamic range, you have more video resolutions, 5.3k or 4k you have more fps options 24 25 30 60 120 fps gyro flow stabilization or real steady stabilization are much better than the embedded rocksteady one stabilization that's inside of your dji fp quad what are the cons to this setup the quad is heavier and the quad tends to nose down which misses up the dji fpv footage just in case you would like to use it because you never know there's more resistance because the quad is heavier the gopro flat profile is not that flat i find it to be very very saturated for a profile that's supposed to be flat it's less agile it's more risky from time to time i lose around five satellites which are very useful for RTH. The return channel function is not as precise and sometimes, let's say I'm located here, the H letter that appears in the goggles is not you know, as precise. It's like the quad doesn't really know where it took off, which can be a problem if you need to land very quickly. I've seen some glitch in the goggles, so that's why I just made sure that in the GoPro, I deactivated the GPS and the Wi-Fi so that there will be no interference between the quad and satellites. 